one stroke a triangle given the perimeter and the ratio of the length of the sides of the triangle. In this example, we have the perimeter being 120 millimeters and the length of the sides will occur in a ratio of 2 to 3 to 4. Well, the first thing that we are going to do is to ensure that the length of our horizontal line DA equals 120 which is equivalent to the sum of our, the sides of our given triangle ABC. We also must notice that the ratio is 2 to 3 to 4 and if we should sum these up we will get 9 equal parts on our division here. Um, this is important as we move along. So let's start with line DE being 120 units. I'm just going to turn on author and we'll type in 120 escape um, over a bit and then what we need to do is to draw another line at a convenient angle um, turn off author and I'll just draw my line somewhere here escape now what we'll need is the nine equal divisions on this line to divide line DE in nine equal parts. So we're going to go to the art tool, select center start end, and we are going to select our center point here. And I'll start up here and I'm going to type in 10, enter for my convenient radius. You notice AutoCAD is climbing clockwise, so we'll hold on control and then we'll select here as our second point. That's the first one. So we could press copy, select our object, Press enter where we want to copy from and we'll make our copies as three and you can just replay and observe the command window and while I executed the copy command I have lost count in terms of how much I've copied but I'm just going to do that one and press enter so I'll count them quickly one two three four five six 7, 8, 9. So I did do an extra one. Let's just delete that one. So what we need to do real quickly is to draw a line from this one to this point. And this is just to show the construction. Of course AutoCAD has easier ways to divide a line, but we want to learn the correct principle. So we are going to press copy here and select this line press enter and then we are going to copy to each of these intersections we have to zoom in to ensure that we are snapping up the current point so all of these lines would have been parallel and there we go that's the final one press enter and all we have to do is to trim off these lines. This is our edge, we'll press enter and then we could just select all of these and press escape. So we have successfully divided the line. Right? What do we need to do next? What we are going to do now is to use B as center which is two units. So the first two divisions we are going to select the same R tool, use B as center and radius B, D, which is right here, so I'm going to select here, and we have to hold on control to go in the clockwise direction, and I'm just going to stop my arc here, and we are going to select again point C, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 units away from this point, 1, 2, 3, so right here will be our, so I'm going to select the our tool again and it's this one and we'll have a radius of C to E and we'll just scribe our arc now to intercept that first one. Once the arc intercepts there we have point A and we know point B and point C so we're able to draw a line from point B to point A at intersection and to point C five units and we could just close it here to highlight our given triangle so we'll select this line this one and this one and again we'll outline those real quickly not using 
the layers property escape and that is our required triangle given the parameter of the triangle and the length of all three sides.